Good morning. Good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's Wednesday. It's five to eight. Oh, I'm a little bit more with it this morning. It's four degrees, I think, three degrees, four degrees, as opposed to minus degrees. So that's a good start. I'm having banana for breakfast. Children will be arriving in the next few minutes. My day will start. Yeah. You help me with oh, help me with the lights, are you? Yeah. Thanks. There he is. Thank you. Right, let's open that bit. Yeah. Uh, in that one, please. Okay. Please push against there. Push. Excellent. And then we'll get that one. Do you want to put that one in for me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on. It's in two wrappers. It's in two wrappers. That's not helpful. No. Like Christmas jumper. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, we have to, hold on, we have to push it that way. Excellent. Should we test them? Yeah. Yeah, they're like... I put them... Uh, they're not very good batteries. Why are they not very well? It's not the batteries actually. I think it's the connections. Oh, there we go. I think it's this connection. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think this connection is a whoa, whoa, is a bit duff. Right. Thank you. Find somewhere to put these ones, won't we? Oh yeah. Put these round. I could put them around there, couldn't we, actually? That would look nice. I could sellotape them. <laughs> oh, check that chicken. You are right? <coughs> right. That could go there. Christmas lights. <laughs> Christmas lights. Right, I'll turn them off for now because it's... Still light out. Working together to get rid of some of this mud out of here. Yeah. And then we're going to put down a bit of the fake grass that's left over, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we are. Working as a team. You're collecting conkers. Yeah. I'm putting shells and stuff yeah. in that box. Yeah. Yes. There's a shell. Muddy. That's all muddy. Oh. What else have we got in there? Uh, there in there. Pebbles. 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 Ooh. Little creature. Little creature. Oh, there's an elephant there. It can go in there. And a boat. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of bamboo attacking you. <laughs> A little bit of bamboo coming to get you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this giant worm. Look. It's over here, shall we? Look. Orion, look at this giant worm. Orion. He's a big fat wormy. Orion. What do you think, Finn? Uh, he's huge. Big fat wiggly worm. <laughs> Orion, look what we found! <laughs> look! Big fat wiggly worm! <laughs> That'll be a no, will it? Right, I'll put him in the flower bed over here. Right, let's go back to our digging. I did it. Okay, shoes off before you go in though, because the shoes are muddy. Thanks. Uh, I don't Santa. There's letters for Father Christmas. I don't think. You can't. Uh oh, the pages are falling out. That is not a good start to the new book. Dear boys and girls, it's my favourite time of year again. I'm writing to find out what you would like for Christmas. The most important thing to remember is that you must be very, very good. I hear about everything you do on the parent hotline. And naughty boys and girls won't be getting any presents at all. <gasps> oh, Michael. P.S. Mum says this is going to be the best Christmas ever. She said something about a new addition. I think she must mean my new red bike. Oh, I don't think she is talking about a new red bike. 
Looks to me like she's got a big belly. There might be something growing in there. Yeah. I can't have new clothes now, but could I just have a drum instead? Just a small one. Dad says it's okay. Ooh. Dad says it's okay as long as mum is always out when I play it. From Michael. From Michael. P.S. Mum had pickled onions, peanut butter and chillies for lunch today. <laughs> I wish it would snow, then we could make a snowman, which wouldn't be noisy at all. So, partly because he's in disgrace. Oh, and partly because he's been sick. Oh, the dog was sick because he had too much chocolate. You shouldn't give dogs chocolate. I know I won't be allowed a book anymore, so can I please just have some more chocolates for the tree? From Michael. P.S. Dad's bought me my old Dad's bought my old cot down from the loft. I think he's going to make Bruno sleep in it so he can't eat the tree chocolates again. <laughs> I don't think that's why. I think Mummy's belly has got something inside. What do you think Mummy's got in her belly? Uh, Too much chocolate? No. No. I think there's a baby in there. Yeah. Do you think there might be a baby? Do you think there's a baby in there? Dear Michael, Merry Christmas. Thank you for all your letters. Our post elf has been very bit has kept been kept very busy. As you're aware, things are not looking good for your Christmas list. However, a last minute call on the parent hotline has changed everything. Mummy won't go to hostel, does she? Yeah. Oh. I heard how helpful you were. I said Yeah. Oh, Ethan, I'm doing some jobs. Your mummy is doing some jobs, yeah. I heard how helpful you were when your mum was in hostel having your new baby sister. There was a baby in her sister? tummy. You've completely made up for all the mishaps. You'll find your present underneath the Christmas tree. Love, Santa. Have you got a very big hat on? It's almost covered your face. <laughs> you, ooh, can you see the lights? Are they flashing? Can you not see them? No, you might not be able to until we take it off. Ready? Uh flashy lights can you see the lights you're gonna wear that on the school run are you yeah. why are you gonna wear that on the school run it's cold now school run oh is it yeah and that is a big hat to keep your head warm is it yeah is it warmer than the hat you brought with you today yeah oh okay it does look very cool on you it does suit you are you going to be father christmas and go and deliver all the presents have you got any reindeer? There's reindeer in the garden. You could pretend they're your reindeer. Have you seen them, look? They're outside waiting for Father Christmas. Yeah. Oh. You'll have to fill up their sleigh with toys and take them on a ride. And deliver all the presents. Yeah. Oh, did you kiss the reindeer? <laughs> Are you doing a puzzle, Orion? No, you just like to post all the pieces through this tree, don't you? You love posting. I think you've run out of pieces, haven't you? Oh, good luck with that. I'm not sure that's going to go through. Oh, he's made a little pile on the other side of that tree of all the jigsaw pieces because he was posting them through the tree. Not in there, Orion. Orion. I'm constantly having to take things out of these bags and have to check them all before they go home, aren't I? Because you keep putting toys in them. Huh? Don't you? Oh, I got you. I got you. You need to eat nicely, mister, because you'll choke if you shout while you're eating. Oh, you've got cold hands. Look. There. Your hat. Yeah. I'm there. <laughs> you got cold hands. Papa Ethan got cold hands. Thank you, let's feel. Oh. What are you doing? Being a menace. No. If you're not careful, my pink slippers will eat you. They like to eat fins. Orion, oh, stop putting things in those bags. My goodness. My ding. My goodness, he's driving me crazy. Not work. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Who's got the giggles? Don't burn your bottom 
on the radiator. <laughs> not not. Who's there? What was that? Not hot. I thought you said not not. <laughs> Got you. Look. Who's that? Bong, bing bong. Ow. Right, my hat now. <laughs> there we are. Beautiful. That one. Yeah, it's my hat now. That one. No, it's not. It's my. Ow! You finish! You finish! Get him, Ethan! Get him! Right, a little bit of downtime now. Uh, little ones have got some CBBs on. Um, so we've got uh, a very sleepy Ethan. Um, I didn't think he'd go down because he's been dropping his nap, but he is actually quite tired. I nearly caught him kipping on the sofa when I went to the toilet and then just put a couple of bits of clothes away while I was up here. Came down and he was like nodding off on the sofa. So I think he's quite tired. Um, so I have put him down for a nap. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. So I have put him down for a nap. He's not really eaten anything either, which is very unlike him. So I hope he's not coming down with anything. He's been a little bit up and down today. Um, Orion's not really eaten very much either. He's just not been interested in food. Finn's eaten well. Uh, Beth's not here today because she's poorly. Uh, what else do I have to share with you? What else do I have to share? Oh, my new book that I'm reading. So I'm just going to sit and read this. This is the next in the series of the Andrew Taylor series that I'm reading very very enjoyable series um oh latest news some people are allergic to the uh Pfizer vaccine so yesterday we had the rollout two NHS workers who carry EpiPens um had a an allergic reaction to it so they're saying anybody who has severe allergic reactions to things I guess carry EpiPens and that kind of thing shouldn't have the vaccine so that means my sister Jackie won't be able to have it because she's allergic to nuts and has an EpiPen and she is intolerant of things like soya and dairy and wheat and gluten and what have you many things in fact um so yeah she will hopefully be able to have the Oxford AstraZeneca um vaccine instead because that comes at it from a different approach a more traditional approach to dealing with vaccines i believe it's not unusual though i mean people it's like some of the flu vaccine people haven't been able to have if they've got like egg ad, egg allergies because the the flu culture or whatever it is is grown on um on egg you know on a or like on an egg base so they're not allowed to have that. So it's not unusual. Um, and there are certain vaccines that certain people with different allergies can't have. Um, so yes, it's not an unusual thing, but that was just something that is in the news today that I thought was probably worth mentioning whilst I am documenting this whole COVID process. Anyway, I'm going to sit and read my book, finish my cup of tea and just have a few minutes downtime while they're happily snuggling down for sleeps and watching a bit of sea babies. Are you all making a Santa's workshop? Yeah. I like it. Then you, you will take these bad presents away. Right, Santa's little helpers. Tell me about your present distribution centre. Is this where the elves work? Um, the elves work over here. Radio. At search and the presents just automatically go up and do themselves. Right, and then what's this bit here? This, uh, um, I don't know what it does. Is that not that you're collecting presents from here and then transporting them over to the postal yeah. bit? I think, yeah. Actually. Right, I see. And, and then, then if they're bad presents, they come up here and on to Oh, so if they're a bit duff, that they're not very good. Or is that for children who've been naughty? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Is that where the lumps of coal go? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Who are you on the phone to, Finn? Uh, Father Christmas? My mummy. Oh, okay. It's not the hotline, the Father Christmas hotline. Checking how many presents you need. Lovely. And so you've got you've got lots of things there ready to distribute. It's like yeah. is it like parcel force and DHL and or is it still done by reindeer? These are the codes. Uh, Has it been subcontracted out to delivery companies? Yes. Okay. This is the cone. 
And all sometimes they go on this tiny sleigh. Oh. Tiny sleigh. On the tiny sleigh, on the tiny magic sleigh. I can fit in it, but now the presents can't come. You're very noisy. Good evening, people. Right, what's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking today? So, Mum V World Vlogs said Christmas bells. There is a bell included in it, but that's not the item, I'm afraid. Thrifty Grandma said Lee's jingle. Well, she left it up to my decision as to whether to put an E or an A in bells or balls. No, it's not. Uh, Ruth Gawthorpe thought it was an elf with bells on. No. Imo thought it was a string of silver shiny balls. Shannon thought it was Christmas rings from the 12 days of Christmas. And Jennifer Millard thought it was the reindeer that we bought the other day. She's very close, but the reindeer we bought the other day was that big wooden one, and it is not that. The people who got it right, dum, 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 there's two of you, Julia Prue and Birdnest58. Julia will be very pleased because she had lost her winning streak. It is in fact, Bubbly, 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 bah. My reindeer from the mantelpiece with his jingly bell. There we go. I will get you something else to go in the stocking. What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking this evening? Please make your guess and stick it down below. And I'll tell you tomorrow if you get it right. Okay, I think that's it for today. I have nothing terribly exciting to share with you. Um, I need a shower. It's getting late. Quite frankly, I stink. So I'm going to go and do that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.